So I got a package in the mail and I'm so excited. iQnix was kind enough to send me one of their keyboards. I'm gonna do a little unboxing for you guys right now. The model that I have is the iQnix OG80 mechanical keyboard. The keyboard actually comes with extra keys and accessories like a cable. There's also some tools that you can use to switch the keys. I actually ended up switching the alt and window keys to make it compatible with my Mac. As you guys may know, I got a mechanical keyboard and this past weekend was actually like Black Friday and yesterday was Cyber Monday. So because of all the sales on electronics and whatnot, I ended up getting a monitor. I literally just like bought a monitor just to have an extra screen. So don't get your hopes up because it's not like an insane like 37 inch ultra wide curved monitor. No, it's just like a regular monitor. I would like to remind you guys that I'm still also a college student. So yeah, I can't be spending that much money. <laughs> I found this Funko Pop at Dollarama. It was literally only $5, so I'm gonna unbox it. Starting off with my desk, it is a 47 inch desk I got off of Amazon. On the left side, there's two shelves. On the first shelf, I store my makeup, and on the second shelf, I store miscellaneous wires, my old window surface go, and some random planners, notebooks, and a binder I use for school. My whole setup is powered by a 2021 14 inch M1 MacBook Pro. My MacBook Pro has one terabyte of storage and 16 gigabytes of memory. It's usually always connected to power unless I'm going to school and it also has a USB-C hub connected to it. The USB-C hub usually just stores the USB for my keyboard. On the other side of the MacBook is just the HDMI cord for the monitor. As for my monitor, which you would have seen me unbox earlier, it's an LG 24 inch IPS monitor. I didn't really get it for gaming, I got it mainly just for productivity, so I use it mainly for school, coding, maybe watching one of the best anime scenes ever, or all of the above. <laughs> 
I also have my keyboard. It's the IQNX OG80 and it's my first ever mechanical keyboard. After a few weeks of using it, I'd honestly recommend it since it comes pre-built. There's also a variety of LED color options, which I think I play around with for about five minutes, like every day. I have the gold pink switches, so it's really light and soft to the touch. If you're sensitive to sound, the spacebar can get a little loud, so that's something to take note of if you're a little picky, but honestly, for me, it's not really bothersome at all. In terms of usability and the overall experience, honestly, I'd say the keyboard is worth it, especially if you're like me and you're just starting to get into mechanical keyboards. As for my mouse, I just use a Microsoft mouse I got as part of a set with a keyboard a couple years ago. One of my favorite parts about my setup is my lights. I use LED strip lights I bought off of Amazon back in like 2018. They're taped to the back edge of my desk and they feed into the side of the wall. I can really customize the way I want my desk to look with these lights. Maybe one day my desk looks like this. Or this. Or this. Or maybe I want more of a green theme. Or a blue one. I can be really indecisive, so as you might be able to tell, customizing and changing the vibe of my setup is something I like to do very often. I also have other lights like this lamp. Um, I don't particularly like it, but I haven't had the courage to get rid of it since I've just kind of had it for so long. I also use it as the main light source for my room since I hate using ceiling lights, so this lamp is pretty nice, I guess. On occasion, I also use a ring light as a lamp, believe it or not. It has a warm and cool light setting, so I like to use it when I want lower light when I'm studying late night. Now for decor, I don't really have much on the desk itself. I did end up putting my Squid Game Guard Funko Pop next to my monitor. Under my monitor, I also have an Amazon Echo Dot, which I use as my speaker, and I also have my AirPods. My AirPods case I got for free from an event that the engineering school at my university was hosting. Don't get me wrong, I'm definitely not an engineering student. <laughs> On the far right side, I also have a bottle of essential oil that I use before I go to sleep and pens inside what's actually supposed to be a mini glass fishbowl. I also have a stand for my phone. Finally, one of my favorite things, I have a photo wall behind my monitor. These are photos that I printed on 4x6 photo paper. It's a collection of lots of different things like my favorite anime characters, game characters, if you know who this is, I love and other miscellaneous photos like my favorite albums, shows, and tango. <laughs> and lastly, I do have my chair. It's an X-Rocker gaming chair. The arms are adjustable, which I really like, and there's a speaker inside the headrest, but I don't really think I've actually used it. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed. Let me know if there's any other videos you'd like to see in the future.